here to show us how to put a new spin on the traditional milk and cookies for Santa Claus. With her milk and cookies cake, what is the founder of the very popular Cake by Courtney blog? Courtney Rich, welcome back, Courtney. Thank you. Thank you. I'm, I'm obsessed with your blog. I'm obsessed with watching your videos. They're so calming. Oh, I, just, <laughs> I just watch them. I go, gosh, look, there's another video. <laughs> I do, too. Not just with mine. I watch other people. They're oh, so good. Well, as you can see, everyone is very excited that you are here. Maria, oh, LZ, Cameron, Just a Coco, little. Hi. Thank you. If you want to start eating, okay. Okay, go guys, for it. Thank you. So, so this cake calls for a boiled milk frosting. Yes. First of all, what is a boiled milk okay, frosting? Okay, so it's very different from our traditional yes. American buttercream with our powdered sugar and our butter. This mm. might, you might remember from your grandma making you mm. a cake. So we're actually taking milk and flour and thickening it on the stove. Oh, wow. So we're gonna it's just really create. it's very nostalgic the taste of boiled milk frosting. It yes. tastes like never heard it, of this. oh every single cake you ate growing up was probably that this. Is, yes. Mm -hmm. And you kind of get a little icing. bit of this milk aftertaste. So it's on it's mm. in between some of the this layers. Is so good. And it's also on the outside of the cake. Um, and it's not as sweet as a American mm. buttercream, which is mm. usually what I put on my frosting or my cakes. And I thought, you know, let's put this tradition of taking milk and cookies for Santa, which we do at my oh, house every mm -hmm. year with my kids. And mm. now we turned it into a mm. cake because that's what I do. I turn mm. everything I into, cakes? Into, <laughs> into cake. So what's the difference then mm. of the traditional buttercream in this one? So Just the fact that we have Yeah, so flour we're using this? flour to thicken it. Okay. And we're also, instead of using a powdered sugar, we're using a granulated sugar. Okay. And so we're going to stir this, cook this for about... 10 minutes, but you want to constantly stir so we don't burn it. Okay. And then look at this. Oh look gosh. at how it's kind of a pudding <laughs> consistency. Oh, that's beautiful. You can so eat we it just it like that. It is so good. It's We're so all good. Eating. Like, whoa. And then whoa. you let it cool though before we can work with it, right? Yes. We cannot put this hot into butter and sugar right now. So give it about an hour at least oh, in the refrigerator. Oh. Put oh. it in another bowl. Put some saran wrap over it. Okay. It will still most likely get a little bit of a skin. You know when you're making homemade pudding and it has that little film on the top? Mm -hmm. Wipe that off before we put it into our butter and our pow and our um, granulated sugar. Just okay. so we don't get any clumps or anything in there from okay. that skin. And then you have I've already mixed your butter, your sugar, and then we add that thickening of the flour and the milk. And it's the milk, that whole milk in there, that's really going to help get a creamy, yummy flavor in here. And you really want to whip this together yeah. for a long time. Yeah. You want to give it, my recipe will say about five minutes okay. in here to really mix it up. And get that air going. Yes. And look how pretty that is. Oh, mm. So good. All right. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Mm -hmm. so good. It's yeah. really yeah. unique. It's, it's almost, we were just saying it's almost like a mm. soft sweetness. Right. It's like yeah. gentle oh. the way you They make this a lot in the it. South. I grew up so with good. this. With the red velvet yes. cake or something. It's delicious. Yeah. They made it a lot in Glendale, too, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> when I was a kid, yeah, they did. Yeah. They have it there. Well, okay, not just about the delicious frosting, because if the cake isn't any good, you know, that's really yeah. the meat and potato, so to speak, of Always. the cake. So mm. how do you make, what's your secret to making a delicious cake from scratch? Okay, so I think there's a few things, actually. One, we always want fresh ingredients. So baking powder, baking soda, nothing over six months old from the day you buy it. Okay. Okay, so super fresh, so we're making sure everything rises nicely in the oven, but also your oven. Get to know your oven, yeah. mm -hmm. okay? Put a oven thermometer on the inside, make sure the temperature's right. Mm -hmm. um, in my oven, the back actually runs a little bit hotter, so yeah, I've gotta take so that sad. layer out a couple minutes early. So just get to know your oven oh. so that your cake is rising mm -hmm. when it needs to at the right time. Because That's it can smart. ruin your cake. Yeah. Really and it gets all hard on the yeah. outside and then yeah. in the yeah. ice. And is it common for ovens for the temperatures to be more one way, more than the, like less Everyone's or more? Everyone's oven, we could have the same Very exact different. brand and it could just run a little really? bit differently. Yeah. Absolutely. The other thing, depends you on know altitude, what? things like that. Yes, absolutely. Keep your oven preheating for 20 to 30 minutes before you put a cake or any baked oh, good in there. Right. Not usually it'll be like, hey, 10 minutes, mm -hmm. I'm ready for you. Mm -hmm. It's not ready for you. Right, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Let it really heat up. Give it a little more time. Another one of my favorite things that you do in here, you mm -hmm. actually layer mm -hmm. sugar cookies, gigantic yes. sugar cookies. Yeah. Look at that out. My, my, mind, my mind is here. seriously blown by the creativity of this cake. So <laughs> you see here, amazing. this is the cake, and you think, oh, that must be another I, layer of cake, but it's not. That is a cookie. That's and a then there's another layer of cake. That's amazing. Okay, so so now we just basically layer, don't we? Yeah, so we have a great vanilla cake here just a traditional vanilla cake and then this is vanilla buttercream just a traditional oh. american buttercream so you both have would, the frosting exactly because this is what i use to frost my cookies with the kids for santa and then i wanted to also mix the idea of putting a sugar cookie right in here okay. so look at my I sugar cookie. So much. and then we have more of our boiled milk frosting okay, that we'll put on top this for oh, you thank you oh that's so good so oh. we get a little bit of both inside the cake 
And then on top. And then we use the boiled milk frosting yeah. on the outside. So you really get this flavor combination of milk and cookies in cake form. And then you put the final layer of cake, do we have it there on yep. top? And you do a crumb coating. Yep. We put it in the freezer for how long? For about 10 minutes in the freezer. We wanna put a thin layer of crumbs, or excuse me, of frosting over the cake to lock in our crumbs. So we'll just do a little wow. switch. It's like You're a work of art. I mean, it's, really there you go. I'll your kids, your kids, your kids must get the best presents from Santa because <laughs> Santa, Santa really likes, likes our house. house. Yeah. He does, probably more than some other houses. <laughs> If I'm being honest, so good. Yeah. this year he's getting cake with his cookies, and he may never not be able to mm -hmm. have cake. I will say something on your YouTube channel and all yeah. your videos. You have the most perfect. The cake doesn't have any edges. It's just perfect. Oh. It's taken a lot of practice. A lot of practice. She makes it look like it's so easy and so fast. Yeah, like that one there. Side. Like this. So look at this. Oh, doesn't this look like this was cut out of construction paper? It yeah. literally doesn't even look real, almost no, in a good way. Thank you. Um, I love this tool, and I actually have my own. We're gonna be starting to sell very soon. It's called an acrylic disc. And I place it on the top of my crumb-coated cake. And we're not gonna do it right now just because it takes a little extra time, but I'll frost the entire sides, mm. fill this in. And do you see how it hangs over just a little bit, Debbie? Yeah. Okay, an extra quarter inches on here, so I have plenty of room to frost the sides of the cake. So it's really thick. Yes, and look, I can even like, I'll hang it over a little bit more on that side and fill in here where it's a little lopsided. So it helps correct a lot of our wobbly cake problems we'll scrape the whole cake and we go right against this it gets us a straight side oh. we freeze it for another 20 minutes and then you guys you just cut this off with a knife mm. it doesn't ruin it no 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 it gets a really sharp edge wow. you fill in the top so all of that is on youtube and my website and instagram so you can see a full tutorial and just on so how you know you'll those. be stuck there for about six hours I mean, <laughs> six hours later you're still looking at cakes I mean, <laughs> it's incredible and as you're uh, doing the finishing touches here i want to point out the fact that you are you are self-taught I am. Which is so Crazy. amazing if you think wow. about it. You just started a, a cake club. Yes, so we are launching Ooh. Courtney's Cake Club so in cool. a week. So I'm kind of just getting super nervous. <laughs> a little bit but I'm busy. so excited. <laughs> and it's a subscription monthly cake box. And so I'm sending you all my premium quality ingredients, all the dry ones, all the emulsions and the oils. Everything measured You'll out. Do, yes, everything's <laughs> pre-measured. There's no box mix. It is 100% homemade by you. And it's one of my cakes, and so there's gonna be a couple different subscription models you can choose from. I'll be baking with you with some Super videos. Really before La Wait, before Larissa way. stalks you, you might wanna just send her a couple now. Well, well, I was gonna say, you know, Larissa was talking about that she has a baking competition with her family. Oh, yes. yes. right. And she was actually going to make your fig cake and, and pass it off as her own. Yes. Now you actually can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now you yeah. really can. Yeah. Exactly. Larissa, you just won. They yeah. watched our show, so we may have just revealed the secret. <laughs> no, we won't yeah. let them know which cake okay. I'm gonna send okay, you, good. and then we're good to go. Okay, you guys have oh. a taste there. So I know you know what to do there, but everybody. So